Brady, at the end of his career, wanted weapons. He didn't want to have to do this by lifting heavy weight without top-tier A type of weapons. He's got him in Tampa. He doesn't want to be doing this at the end of his career for a 7-9, 8-8 team. He wants a front office that wants to be aggressive. He's got that. He wants a coach that he connects with, that is aggressive, that wants to go for the biscuit. He's got that in Bruce Arians, and everybody seemingly loves playing for Bruce Arians. And he's got warm weather. Look, he doesn't have to float around the NFL to find the perfect scenario at 45 or 46 years old. He's got it. He has got it, and he's now got a franchise that's tasting that Super Bowl. And you think they want to say no to that in the future years? They've got no They've got no backup to him. They've got no guy in the holster. They've got no young buck ready to go. All they've got is Tom Brady. And it's warm year round. And he doesn't have to worry about cold weather and indoor practice facilities and that type of of wear and tear on your body when you're that old. He gets to play in Florida. This whole thing is perfect for Tom. It is perfect. Also, there's no desperate sense of urgency from the fan base or the media. Oh, my God, I'm going to die without a Super Bowl championship like Detroit or like Cleveland or Cincinnati. This is great. You're loving life. So absolutely, I think they re-up Brady in the offseason. I think that he wants to be re-upped, and I think that we see Brady play beyond next season in Tampa Bay. I don't buy this that he'll be floating around the NFL trying to just hang on for championships to whoever is going to employ him. I think it's got to be the right scenario, and I think right now this is the right scenario on both sides. They're going to extend him, and I don't think next year's his victory lap. I think Tom Brady's playing in 2022 for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I do. I think it's... I mean, if you're going to lay odds on it in Vegas, odds are that's happening. The upset would be that next year is his final year or that in 2022, the Buccaneers are not interested in bringing him back and he has to end up playing somewhere else. 